Hey guys, my name is Seth Fenby and this is a virtual inspection by video. What I have today is a Caterpillar 318 CLN. We're going to walk around and look at the major components and uh, then we're going to run and operate the uh, machine. Okay, so what we have here is the uh, left side track. I'm going to get this uh, video off of here so you can pay attention there. Uh, we have the left side track here. Uh, the pads are in good condition. They're probably 60% life left. You can see the grouser bars up to the uh, bolt heads there. Here we have the sprocket on the left side. It's in good condition. The chain, it's in very good condition. As you can see here, the rails are nice and thick. And all the pin bosses are in good shape. Here we have the final drive here on the left side. It's all in excellent shape. Top roller. And the front idler. It's in good condition. Here we see, uh, here's the pins and bushings. Up to the top roller there. Okay, here's the cab. You can see the front of the cab is in nice shape. It's not bent up. Uh, you can see it is missing the lights up there, but all the glass is in the front of the cab. The door is in nice condition. And all the sheet metal around the machine, as you can see here, is in good condition. Doors are nice and straight. The paint was touched up and the decals were put on it. Here we have inside the compartment here where the fuse box is and the air filter. Doors all in nice condition. There's a shot of the batteries, washer fluid, radiator here, some other features. Around the back of the machine, you can see the sheet metal is very nice. And like I said, it had been uh, repainted and decaled here. Here we are up underneath the machine where the turntable is. The turntable is in excellent shape. There's no major play inside anywhere. And uh, the turret works excellent. Here's the inside on the left side uh, track group, inside on the right side track group. Here we are around to the right side, sheet metal and everything. It's all in excellent condition, the toolbox, footstep and everything. There's the cylinders. And uh, here we have the right side track, the grouser bars are probably, and the pads are probably 50-60% at least. right side sprocket and chain final drive the right side top roller and up underneath and the front idler and chain the booms in very nice condition no cracks or welds anywhere on the boom and the stick is in excellent shape it's plumbed down the stick here and we have a Wainroy quick coupler as you can see right here with a 36 inch cat tooth bucket also included with this mach machine is a 24 inch cat bucket the bar welded on the teeth there set up for the coupler and a 42 inch bucket uh, for the coupler as well. This is a Wainroy bucket. And it's also welded up here for ditching and whatnot. Both buckets are in pretty good condition. You can see there are a few dents down inside, but they're both in good shape. Okay, here we have up the other side of the stick. As you can see here, it's plumbed up there and down the boom, the right side here. Here we have the serial number plate, PA, I'm sorry, GPA00292. Here we are inside the cab. The seat is ripped up some here, as you can see. Um, we're going to get a seat cover for this, but uh, the seat still operates fine. The interior is in excellent condition. Here's the hour meter, uh, it's reading 3,915 hours computer, controls, radio, and some of the functions here. Okay, so here we are inside the cab with the controls here, your joysticks for forward and backwards, and uh, the computer screen. And I uh, will start it up now.
Okay guys, inside the cab, the computer all works great, the auto throttle works good. Uh, the air conditioning blows nice cold air, it's blowing out nice and cold right now. The interior and the headliner and everything's in nice condition. Um, it's a nice, very nice inside, very nice condition. The vents, cup holder, the hour meter, and uh, the other features here. Now we're going to run and operate this machine.